you played most, if not all your career at one spot at Texas Tech. How much experience uh, during your Texas Tech days did you have snapping the ball, whether it be in practice, high school, whatever? Yeah, uh, in high school, I, I played on varsity as a freshman in Frisco, and I was the center that year. I played guard and tackle then, and then in college, I started every game at right guard, but uh, like I got a bunch of snaps at center during practice and at left guard. Um, I would rotate with the center. we kind of switch, and then my last game against Kansas, I played the second half at center, so I feel real comfortable there. Yeah, so you were more than comfortable today when, when you were there, right? Yep. Okay. All right, thanks. Hey, Jack, John Worrell with the Associated Press. Um, welcome to Buffalo. Just um, we heard about uh, from Tommy and Spencer about, uh, you know, you guys kind of bonding together on that, uh, you know, in, in Chicago and then on the flight. Uh, what was that experience like just knowing that you three guys are coming in together as a group? Yeah, I love it. I mean, uh, I had a previous relationship with Tommy from Olin Masterminds last summer. We, we sat right next to each other and became friends then, kind of followed each other on social media and whatnot. And then me and Spencer met at the Senior Bowl. So it was already just kind of like, just that we're happy to have these three guys. And I think we have a, a good little, uh, good little, you know, relationship there with us three. It's almost like the start of a joke um, too, though. And I, I'm kidding around here, but what do you get when, you know, three big build, big rookie offensive linemen wind up on the same commuter flight together? Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was quite the scene. It was, uh, Heads were being ducked and, you know, they were they were trying to figure out where we we're going to fit. Definitely not next to someone or in a middle seat. So, you know, I had to had to move some of us around. It's pretty funny. What about because they talked about how um, some fans, some some people on the flight actually knew who you guys were. You know, you, you were recognizable. What does that say about, you know, um, were you surprised that, you know, something like that would occur, uh, you know, given the fact that you guys are later round picks in some ways? Uh, I mean, no, I'm not that shocked by it. I mean, I don't know. I think Buffalo is a lot. It's like a, like the NFL version of where I went to college, like Lubbock, Texas, like everyone really gets into the, the team and the school in Lubbock's case and kind of everyone kind of knows the deal there. And, you know, I think uh, it didn't really shock me because I know how the Bills Mafia is and, you know, they, they really uh, take care of their people. So I wasn't shocked. Thanks a lot, Jack. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hey, Jack, uh, Matt Prino from Syracuse.com. Um, Curious uh, on the point about uh, playing center, you know, this is a team, uh, a, a unit under Bobby Johnson that has had several guys kind of be able to do that position flexibility, play center, play the guard spots. Brian Bates, I'm pretty sure can play all five spots. So what, what are your impressions of Bobby and, and what has he told you about being able to uh, play multiple positions? Yeah, that's something that he really stresses, you know, has been able to, you know, we only travel X amount of people and, you know, you got to be able to play all three inside. So that's something I'm really focusing on is getting comfortable at center and at left guard. I feel really good at right guard. So, you know, I'm just taking it step by step and, you know, really just trying to take care of myself outside of here and really look at the film and the playbook and just get comfortable out there. I think that's the most important thing is being able to play full speed. That's what I'm working on. Is it more challenging um, learning all those different positions? I mean, I know coming in, the playbook can be a little bit daunting at, at first, no matter what. But to have to learn all those different positions, is that challenge more challenging, do you feel like? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm really happy how it's happening because once you know center, you know all the positions. So I'm literally telling them where they're going. So, you know, if I can tell them where to go, then someone else tells me that's much easier that way. So I feel uh, once you know center, you can play every, everywhere. Have you uh, been able to connect at all with uh, Davis Webb through channels uh, since since you've been here? I sure have. Yeah, he was like one of the first people I called when I got drafted. Like the next day after I got drafted, we had probably a 30 minute conversation about, you know, everything playbook living out here, you know, how everything is. And yeah, he's, he's a guy that I, you know, I've always really looked up to and his work ethic and how he studies the game. So someone I'm definitely going to, you know, stay close with. Awesome. Thanks, Jack. Thank you. Yeah, Jack, it's uh, Mark Vaughn from Buffalo News. So sticking on the same uh, subject here. Uh, just from a mental standpoint of making the line calls at the center position, do you view that as, does that make it, uh, obviously that you didn't do that, I presume, uh, playing guard at, at Texas Tech, but does that make it more fun, more uh, how much more fun to, or more challenging to, uh, do you view that? Yeah, I'd say both. I mean, it's, it's, it feels good to, you know, get everyone on the same page and 
kind of kind of lead that those five I definitely enjoy that but yeah definitely more challenging more thinking involved and you know more more studying and whatnot but you know I love it and I'm, I'm ready for the challenge I mean in terms of the the fronts I mean is that uh, you had to know it at guard anyway in college you know what what so is it a huge uh, you know uh when you're playing guard in college, you're, you know, you're assessing it like the center is to, to some degree, mm-hmm. to a large degree, right? I mean, it's, yeah, yeah, it's pretty similar stuff. I mean, yeah, right. I did in, in college, you know, we ID France and I kind of yeah. I played some center in college, like I said, so, you know, I feel comfortable there, no doubt. And then, uh, you know, from playing center in the senior bowl, how much con- did that give you? Did you need a confidence boost saying, oh, yeah, this, 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 this goes well, or did how much of a did you take from that? Um, yeah, that was a, that was, yeah, that was a good experience. I mean, being able to do it against the best players in the in college football definitely, you know, gives you a little bit of confidence going into it. But yeah, I feel uh, I feel like that plus getting some rookie mini camp in and you know being able to go against these guys, those are two things that have helped build my confidence for sure. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hey, Jack Salme Arana over in Rochester. I used, if you could, could you maybe speak a little bit? to your competitive nature because clearly you know you look at this roster and the hill you're going to have to climb your competitive nature I think is going to come out can you speak a little bit to what you've done in all your steps along this journey to be you know a competitive guy to win a job yeah uh I mean it's definitely something that I pride myself on as being competitive and going out there and you know preparing myself like I'm the starter and that's something that uh I'm, I'm excited about the opportunity is just going out there and earning my spot, like you said. I mean, I think uh, center is a place that I can I can do that. So, you know, I'm excited to keep learning center and show everyone that I can do it. What what situation did you step into at Texas Tech when you came in there as a freshman? Is it, I mean, obviously, you know, <laughs> you were recruited to go there. It's a big deal. But is it similar? Do you feel it's similar to stepping into this situation? You were recruited to come here. But if you could, go back and tell us about the Texas Tech experience. Yeah, I would say it's probably, like, completely different. Uh, I graduated early from high school and got to Lubbock uh, like my second year, of, second half of my senior year of high school. And I like, they named me the starter at Red Guard like a week after I got there, two weeks, like we were doing walkthroughs before spring ball even happened and I was the guy. So obviously a lot different uh, coming onto a team with some veteran leadership and some guys that have been doing it a while. So a little, you know, a lot different in that way, but you know, it's all, you got to compete either way and got to get better every day. So it is what it is. Were you surprised by the instant, <laughs> the instant job at, at Texas Tech? Uh, I mean, not really, because I, I was like the four or five star kid and like tech didn't get a lot of those. So I think that it was expected that I come in and play right away. So 